Hey guys, welcome back to Feed the Beast Unleashed! Last episode we left off, we managed to make ourselves up a wand of equal trade from Thomcraft and enchanted it thanks to the Enchanting Plus mod. Now, I actually want to give something a try today before we get started, and it has to do with a little bit of Dartcraft and Enchanting Plus. Now, thank you, Portal, you're awesome. Seeing how I'm on Feed the Beast Unleashed version 1.1.3. I've tried to make up some more force sticks, but every time I do, it gives me this. Oak barricades. Now, I've heard from someone on Twitter they had the exact same problem, and I don't quite remember what they said to fix it, and it was a little while ago, so I haven't been able to go back and actually check, but uh, I'm not sure why it's not giving me force sticks, but what I'm going to try and do is see about possibly repairing our wing sword through enchanting plus because it has a repair option on there so let's go ahead and give that a shot shall we wing sword right there so it says right here repair cost is one let's try it oh that that is awesome <laughs> that is awesome it still retains its wing sword capability so that means it's still oh it's in my inventory <laughs> so that means we can still fly around with it Woo. perfect Still has sharpness 8 on it. Cool. But I also want to see if I can actually add a couple other enchants to it. I want to see if I can add looting onto it. How much is that going to cost? Chanting cost 1. Really? Looting 3 is going to cost 5. Hmm. I can actually put unbreaking or repair on this too? That's interesting. All right, well, let's just try looting three, and <laughs> hopefully this doesn't break the game. Sharpness eight, looting three. All right. That's kind of cool. <laughs> wow, that, that's awesome. All right, well, if that's the case, let's go ahead and jump into a few other things real quick, because I want to head to the nether today. I want to see about pumping some lava into our base here into our crafting room primarily for this for the time being because I know I haven't got my nuclear power set up just yet over here and I'm probably gonna wait a little while because I need lava for a few other things so why not go ahead and take use of it here in the beginning alright now I was recommended to try out a new pump so let's go and type in pump and I believe it was this one right here the ender thermic pump it was a few episodes, actually it was probably five or six episodes ago. But this looks not hard to make, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot. Do, do, do. And I believe I'm going to want some sticks, and I don't think I got any made up, so I'm going to grab some oak wood, make some sticks, put those into our network for later. Alright, so there we go, we got an iron pickaxe. We're going to need a bucket of lava and a bucket of water, plus an eye of ender. All right, so we're going to need four more iron ingots, armenium stone to make an ender pearl. Now, do we have any... Yes, we do. We got those, I believe, last episode. Eye of ender. There we go. Now, what else do I need? Obsidian I have. Diamonds I have. We just need a bucket of water and a bucket of lava. Okay, let me actually go ahead and put those two back into the network. And let me grab our buckets here. Hey, give me those back. Those are mine. Grab a bucket of lava. A bucket of water. And let's go ahead and throw those into our network and see if we can't shift-click this out. Perfect. There we go. An endothermic pump. Nice and painless. All right, so I'm going to need some sort of power generation for this guy. Hmm. What do we have for engines? We have one redstone engine. Okay. Hmm. If I put this guy in the in the Nether, I can't use water in the Nether. I probably can, but I've heard there's ways of getting it in there, but I don't think I'm at that point just yet. So I'm probably going to want to try and make up some more redstone engines. 
All right, so we got some gears here. Let's see, do we have any pistons? I don't think we have any pistons actually made up just yet. So let me type that in real quick. Pistons. Let's see if we can't quickly just craft some of these up. There we go. And I think we should have everything else necessary. Let's put the jungle wood planks back in here. Let's take some glass, pistons, wood gear. There we go, redstone engines. Make up a couple of those. All right. All right, now I'm also going to have to head to the nether anyway because I want to make up a ender tank. And I'm going to need some blaze rods, which is one reason why I put looting three on the swords, because I want to get some blaze rods. All right, and I don't think I'm going to need any pipes. Just doing some quick little checkovers to make sure I got everything I need. Force wrench, probably. Wait, did I get my buckets back from that endothermic pump? Oh, that is cool. That's awesome. All right, well, let's go ahead and give this a shot. We're going to have to do a little bit of flying around in the nether. For one, to find some blazes, and then to find a nice spot for our endothermic pump. So let me go ahead and clear that out. Let's take the power armor leggings off and see what we can't do. All right, in the nether. And... Didn't quite remember everything we had around us, but it looks like we got some nice lakes around us to, uh, to pump the lava out of, so that will work for now. Now, I don't remember seeing any nether fortresses close by. Of course, I could be blind as well. But I'm going to quickly kind of fly around to see if I can't find one, because I really need some blaze. Awesome, guys. So I found a nether fortress about 300 blocks or so away from our portal. When I had made a waypoint next to that. And look at that. We got ourselves a blaze spawner right there. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wind up picking this up with my force wrench in just a minute. But I want to try killing a couple of these guys. It's going to be a little difficult. Two. Come here. Ooh, look at that. Three blaze rounds already. Oh, crud. That's not good. Oh, and I got to get to safe. D. And I gotta get food. I didn't know I was low on health. How'd that happen? Alright, so we got three blaze rods already. That's awesome. Hmm, I might need to find something that actually helps regenerate my health later on. Doo -doo -doo. I know I had a, um, a gold apple, but I put that away. Alright, so we should be alright. Ooh, hello. There's actually quite a few of them in there. Oh, get out of here. Darn it, he hit me. You're good, buddy. But I would have taken blaze rods. Up to seven so far. I probably should have went in there and already taken care of that thing. Because I hear him spawning in there. What I want to do is just... Uh, no! Go away! Ooh, loot bag. Yeah. Alright, let's take those off. I don't want to waste them. Holy cow. There are a lot of you. All right, I'm going to let them shoot real quick. We're going to take their spawner. Cool. All right, so I got nine blaze rods. I got their blaze spawner, too. And I'm just going to leave. Go! i use my, my wing sword to get out of there. Perfect. All right. Let our wing sword regenerate a little bit. Let's get down here. There we go. Now we can fly back home a little bit quicker. All right, so we got blaze rods. We got a blaze spawner, which I think we might even be able to use in the overworld. Let's see what's in our spoils bag real quick. Oh, cool. We got more thomium. Five pieces of thomium. Awesome. Irony gets another set of force mitts and an emerald. Perfect. That was actually a pretty decent 
Loot bag. Alright, I'm gonna quickly make my way back to my crafting room and we'll be right back when we get there. Alright guys, we're back here in our crafting area. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out this blaze spawner. I just wanna check something real quick. They should still spawn in the overworld, right? Oh, yep. That was easy. Alright, disabled. Cool. Alright, so they do spawn here. Perfect. I'll be able to utilize that later on until I can make me up some, uh, some soul shards. Alright, so we got blaze rods first before we actually make our ender tank. I'm going to need something to pump the lava into. I'm probably going to make me up a... Hey, what is this? A railcraft tank, I believe it is. So we're going to need iron tank walls. And in order to make that, we're going to need a rolling machine. So, let's see what we need to make a rolling machine. We're going to need four pistons, four iron ingots, and a crafting table. Pretty easy to make. So, let's see. Wood. And we're going to need... Uh, well, darn it. We need piston. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. One, two, three, and four pistons. Actually, let's go ahead and make up four more just to throw into our network for later. And we should be able to make this guy up right now so let me go ahead and put that into our network that into our network whoops alright why are you not grabbing the pistons why you do this to me game alright there we go rolling machine cool alright now I'm gonna need a, a source of power for this guy alright well apparently that's where my nether portals at I didn't know it was gonna show in the overworld too can I edit this all right, there we go. So if I click this, wait, visible in this dimension, can I like, how do you turn that part off? All right, well, we'll just turn it off for the time being. And if I need it later, I'll turn it back on. Not sure why that wasn't working. All right, so we're gonna need power. I wonder, do you think this thing will take EU? No, I didn't think it would. Yeah, it was worth a try. Alright, if that's the case, let's go ahead and head over towards our magmatic engine here. Got our induction smelter, our pulverizer. Hmm. Let's see, let's do this. Put our rolling machine right there. I'm going to be moving this stuff later on anyway. Alright, good, so that turns that off. Let me flip this around like that. Perfect! Alright. Now we're gonna need some more iron. So let's go ahead and grab, like... We'll go ahead and grab two stacks of iron. We should be able to afford that. And we'll make up some iron plates. Let's go ahead and turn that on so it supplies us with some power. Alright, looking good so far. Awesome. Alright, so that should work. While that's making up, let's go ahead and head back over to our crafting terminal. And let's see if we can't make up that ender tank now. There we go. Alright, what all do we need? We need a cauldron. Roger. Just make sure we don't shift click that. That would be painful. Right, we're going to need an ender pearl. I believe just one, right? Yeah. Well, actually, we're going to want two ender tanks. So let's go ahead and do this. Make up two cauldrons. There we go. So we make up our two ender tanks. All right. So now we need some obsidian and wool. Do we have wool? Ooh, thank the Lord. We have everything we need. Put everything into our network. Shift click our question mark and we'll make up some ender tanks. Awesome. All right, let's put some of this stuff into our network that we don't need. All right, that'll work. Uh, let's go throw the thomium into our thomcraft chest over here. Cool, we're up to 10 thomium already. It's a pretty
pretty wacky hat you got there, Fred. Show off. Alright, so blaze spawner. I even have a zombie spawner somewhere around here. We got our ender tank. We got our endothermic pump. Redstone engines. We're looking good so far. Let's take a look at this guy. Let's go ahead and pull out that stack there. And I believe if we stack these on top of each other, we get our low pressure boiler tanks. I don't think that's what we want. <laughs> then we want this one. Iron tank walls. That sounds about right. So that's going to make us a what? Two stacks? Alright, cool. Alright, we should have more than enough to make what we want. Iron tank gauge. So how do we make that? We're going to need the iron plates and glass panes. And I'm going to want an iron tank valve. Which I'm going to need iron bars, iron plates, and levers. Alright. Still not too bad to make up. We'll let that guy finish up. Where is that noise? Little buddy, come here. You must die. You're making too much noise for me. That's for sure. Alright. Just about ready. And I think I'm going to head over here and see if we can't grab some ink. I don't know how much I have left. We have 12 ink sacks left. I'm going to make up some black iron tanks. Hopefully to match the floor we got going on. Alright, this guy's just about done. Magmatic engine's getting a little low on lava. That's why we really, really want to try and get some of this lava pumped into this overworld here. Alright, last one making up right now. And then we're going to split that in half. We're going to save some for the glass viewers, or iron tank gauges there. And we're going to make one iron tank valve. So I don't think I have the glass here. I think it's actually in my terminal. Ah, there we go. Let's go ahead and make up some glass panes. We'll make up 32 for now. We have some iron bars already. Cool. So let's put all that in there. Let's see. Let's do the iron tank gauges first. I believe it's the last page here. Yep. And just fill that in like so. Let's make up like, what, 32 of those for now? Yeah, that'd be fine. Then on this one, let's see, hopefully we have a lever in there. Oh, we did, good. Let's just make up eight of those. We don't need any more than that. All right, and we'll surround that with iron tank walls. That's going to make us up black iron tank walls. All right, so let's put our ink sacks back in there. Perfect. All right, now I'm not going to worry about the black iron tank gauges or... Actually, you know what? Why not? We'll make that up too. We'll just go crazy. All right, so now we're out of ink sacks, but we should have plenty to make our tank. So I'm going to try and position this right in the middle. And I believe we had it, what? The center was... There's six... One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is like the middle, like right here. These two blocks are the center. All right, and I believe this needs... Hmm, needs to be odd. All right, well then I'm going to have to fix this room later on. Because then that's going to bug me. All right, we'll say... Which way do I want to go over? All right, we'll go over this way. So we'll put it the center of it more on this side. All right, so I'm going to do one, two, three, four. Five. So the center would be like right here. Yeah, I think that's right. All right, so I'm going to quickly clear this out, and we're going to start placing these down. So let me go ahead and do this real quick. Alright guys, so I went in and got that cleared out. We're going to head back there in just a second, but I do want to grab some more ink sacks while I'm here. So, 
That's why I kind of flew over here. Alright, how many did that give me? Five. So these guys with the looting are awesome. Give me your ink sacks, squids. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, man. Holy squids, man. 21 ink sacks. Perfect. Alright, let's see if we can't make up some more iron tank walls. We'll go ahead and finish up making these two. Alright, there we go. And we'll surround you like so. Perfect. We even got ink, ink sacks to spare. Alright, so let's start filling this guy in. So I'm going to do the bottom with the iron tank walls. Like this. Oh, wow. That's not cool. So you lose the die when you mine it back. That's bad. <laughs> Alright, well, let's hope we don't mess up any more then. And then we're going to do the corners with the iron tank walls. Alright, there we go. So we got a nice little outline going for our tank here. It should work. Alright, so we got 58 iron tank walls left, and we have 32 tank cages. Hmm. Thinking I might not have enough iron tank walls for this. But we're going to go ahead and place what we have down. And see how far that gets us. But I'm thinking I'm going to have to go make me some more up. So let me see if I uh, can't spare that and quit messing this up. All right, there we go. So let me go ahead and grab another half a stack of iron. Head back over to our rolling machine. Turn you on. Get you going. There we go. So how much... Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Eh, that should be enough. Let me grab some more lava to put inside this guy. All right, that should be good. There we go. All right, so we got those guys cooking up right now. And let's see. That should be all right. We're almost there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. And then once I get these walls done, we'll be right back. Alright guys, so I got the walls filled in for our tank here. Now I need to find out where I want to put our iron tank valve at. So this is where it's going to be storing our lava at. Hmm. Maybe I'll do it like right up here somewhere. So we'll put it right here. Put our valve there. And then we should be able to take a ender tank place it right there. Alright, and that should be able to fill this guy up for later. Now, I think down here, later on, I might put another one, but for now, this will probably be okay. But let's go ahead and put an iron tank valve there for later. Fill that one back in, and then we'll go ahead and put iron tank gauges on the top of this, the way we can watch the magic happen. Alright, so now, why are you not working? Hmm. These guys are a little tricky sometimes. Alright, let me go ahead and figure out what's going on here, and then we'll be right back. Alright guys, and we're back. So, apparently I hit it too tall. So there we go. We can hold... 32,000 buckets of lava in here. That'll work for me. All right, we got that taken care of. We got our tank made up. Let's head to the nether and see if we can't set up our pump real quick. I think we'll put it right next to the portal. All right, ender tank, redstone engine, endothermic pump. We should be good to go. Let's see, make sure we got some levers on us. And let's go ahead and give this a try, shall we? See if we can't get some lava back in the overworld. Alright, let me go ahead and take this off too, before I forget. Whoa, I hear you. 
I heard you. Get out of here. I ain't taking no more crap from you, buddy. So how many did that give me? Seven flame string. Wow. All right, let's see now. From what I'm understanding, the endothermic pump actually acts as a chunk loader itself. So it'll keep the chunks loaded that it needs uh, to pump the lava out. From what I understand. So let's try this. And I believe it should be able to pump lava from a block underneath it. So, like, it should be able to pump through that block that I just placed down if there's lava underneath that, if I'm not mistaken. So, let me actually use the stone road around here, because I want to be able to place these uh, redstone engines around this. I'm kind of wearing, but... Ooh! I didn't even touch you! I was holding shift. Oh, the soul sand, that's what it was. The soul sand pulls you down a little bit. Forgot about that. All right, there we go. And we'll put our ender tank right on top. Put a lever there, lever there. Let's see if this works. If everything goes right, this should work out for us. Let's cross our fingers. All right, there we go. We got lava coming in to our ender tank. Perfect, slowly but surely. That'll work for me. Now, from what I understand, if you look right over there, there's a little piece of stone out in the middle of the lava. Instead of, like, just pulling up the lava blocks and, you know, leaving the flowing lava, from what I understand, the endothermic tank, or, or our pump, endothermic pump, Sorry. <laughs> it's supposed to replace lava with stone to help prevent the uh, flowing lava issue. So hopefully, this will work out for us, and I think it will. Now, I don't know how far out this thing will pump from, but right now I'm not too worried about it. But once this thing uh, you know, gets up its speed and starts getting quite a bit pumped out, I'll come back a little bit later and see... Wait, where are you at? Oh, there you are. You can leave now. No one likes you, Ghast. Don't want you messing up my stuff, either. Alright, let's see if I can't get out of here without him seeing me. Alright, back to the overworld. Alright, let's head over to our crafting area to see what our tank is looking like so far. Power armor leggings back on. Alright, now we need to flip the switch here. So we got lava in the tank there. We'll flip that switch orange up, and that should start filling the tank up with lava. So you can see there, now we got some lava coming in. Perfect. That'll work for me. Now, if I wanted to, we can make up one more ender tank. And that way I could get rid of this and just put an inner tank next to this. And I think I might just do that for the time being. Yeah, I think so. Alright, if we're going to do that, we're going to need a few more blazes. Hmm. Where could I put this thing to not have to worry so much about burning my entire area down? And possibly dying horrible, horrible death. Kind of want a place where I can contain them a bit. Like a cave right down in here. Yeah, perfect. This will work. Alright, let me get my force wrench out. Let's actually throw up some torches. That way you guys will be able to see too. Actually, let's do it like right in here. Hello, Blaze. This will be nice and easy for on us. Close quarters, looting three sword, sharpness eight. These guys should die pretty quickly. Actually, that should be enough, but I'm going to kill one more. Just for good measure. Waiting on you, Blaze. Waiting on you. Oh. Oh. I was going to say, I don't think 
light levels affect them here. Alright, so there we go. We got seven blaze rods. Let's go ahead and head back to base. Make us up one more ender tank. That way I ain't got to worry about refilling up that uh, tank behind us there. Alright, so lava's still coming in. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Alright, let's go ahead and put the ink sacks back into our inventory so I can take them back to the miscraft area. We're going to need one cauldron made up real quick. There we go. And we're going to need one more ender pearl. So put those back into our network. We've got the blaze rods put back in there. Shift click. There we go. One more ender tank. And we'll plunk this guy down right there. All I'm gonna do is flip that over. And he should supply our geothermal generator with a little bit of lava to keep our network going. So I think that should work for today, guys. We got some lava pumping into the overworld, into our crafting room here. Hmm. Let's actually grab. Oh, cool. When you mine up this um, floor here, it actually keeps it as smooth blackstone. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and fill that in then. Just to make it look nice. There we go. That'll work. In fact, let's do that and then we'll make us a. Can we make. Uh, yeah. We'll just make one up real quick. Thought maybe I had one in my network somewhere. We'll just make up a trap door. Oh, there's my zombie spawner. Place that guy right there. Access in here. Actually, take this down one more block. We'll be able to fly out, so it's not a problem. How far down we go? There we go. That way we can turn it on or off if we need to. I like that. Perfect. So we got lava storing. We got lava powering our geothermal generator. Cool. All right. Well, I think that's going to about wrap it up for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys would rate the video, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye.